What's going on, everybody? Slang Dutchman here, and today I'm with Thomas. Hi, guys. And I just was stopping by, uh, hanging out for a little bit, and we decided because it was so nice, nice weather out, we decided to go do a little project. Now, if you, as you can see, this is the old hood that, if some guys remember from the E36 uh, donor car, where I took the six-cylinder engine from. So I still had this laying around and I wanted to, sorry for the wind noise though, uh, I wanted to give this a go in terms of uh, a hood vent. So if you can see, we've drawn out some lines. Uh, I don't want to really go on the uh, conventional hood vent with all the fins. Oh, where's the camera there? With all the fins, because then um, all the, 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 it's good for letting air out, hot air out and, and ventilate. But for a street car like this and being like on the on the public roads, not uh, stored indoors, uh, water will get in there, get on your coil packs and all that stuff. So I don't want to I don't want to deal with those struggles. So my slash our idea was to sort of uh, cut it here and along those edges here. And then uh, bend, down. bend this down and put some little like triangle shapes on the insides of here. So this some basically slices on the inside. Yeah, and just by sheer luck, because this was already we were we've been talking about this idea yeah. um, yesterday or the day before. I saw a picture of a guy who had it in that exact way. So I should uh, I'll drop a picture in right now, and then you can see um, well. It's, it's a pretty easy way to do with the stock bonnet and well to get the, the air out because you will uh, because this will be lower you create because of the air uh, a low pressure zone so this will create a vacuum and that sucks the air out so the air that's going in will immediately or at least some of it will go back out again so let's just see we've drawn it out and we're just gonna start cutting so we've made some cuts we're gonna see if we can get the, the inside support out because uh, here it's all the way through and then here just uh, not the skin only the where is it structural shit I think you can pry that off with the screwdriver if you got one then go and you can just yeah but you don't want like yeah. dents in the metal yeah true and this is fucking thin so that will work. This will make it a lot easier. True. I want to I like there we go it's stuck there but it's also I think not really coming up just cut it a little bit more Just go deeper. Yeah, I'm trying. That's what she said. There you go. <laughs> I was like, if you don't get this. <laughs> one part. That's one part fully off. Oh. Just keep doing then. I'll keep filming you. <laughs> Can we just enjoy this sun? Appreciate the nice weather we have today. And even here in this backyard, all enclosed, there's no wind, barely any, just a breeze.
that's also what motivated us to do this because we were like yeah just a few days off and start doing this but the weather was so good that we're like we're not gonna sit inside we need, we need to go outside and do something so we got the old one off put the other one on so now we're gonna see uh, how far we can basically pull this down this gap uh, also we're gonna take these off because I'm gonna go with uh, hood pins anyway and I don't want to it's not properly aligned it's it's good enough that it can close but like uh, if it's not fully aligned it can get stuck in these because then there's a lot of pressure sideways on them and the way I release these is one with this and the other one is just a cable inside which is very hard to do um so we were like well we're gonna hoop, go hoop pins anyway so we're gonna take them off so it doesn't latch and we just put it closed and uh see what the fitment is and how deep we can go i'm curious to see because it already looks cool though you already see the gap which is pretty awesome i mean imagine that I love cheap, simple mods like this. You can do them yourself and they look awesome and people are like, hey, where you got that hook from? I made it myself. Apart from the bumpers and the stuff that I bought, but I mean, this is stuff I love. So after the test fitting, uh, we noticed that uh, it was hitting the block at some point and I wanted to make a little bit bigger gap. So we took uh, two strips of metal just clamped it together and together we just folded it over so sort of this look uh, also this is going to be a little bit more like this so that will really uh, scoop some air in I hope and make it ventilate a lot more so this is sort of what we turned up with so everything is and from this look damn I love it I mean, just uh, how give it's... Give me power, I am hungry. <laughs> no, give me, give me more cooling. Yeah, it looks good, man. It's like that. Yeah, a little bit less, a little bit less. Like bit like less. That. Yeah. That's a good gap. And everything here, the engine underneath, everything is protected. So no water is going uh, gonna to go on there. And from this is a two, uh, straight, like, sort of gap between the... Uh, front of the engine, and the front of the engine like the pulleys and the radiator, radiator so it just can drop down and have no issues with that nice well let's make some templates let's do that so shut up they're laughing at you no <laughs> <laughs> did you just you broke your glasses you threw them away and within a minute, you got another one of the exact same glasses? Yep. <laughs> anyway, we got the, the template out and traced it on a piece of metal. It's not the best piece of metal on looks, but it's still uh, still fine. So, you're honest. Cut you up. So then we ended up with these. They will fit like right here. And this will, of course, just lay in there. Come on. Sort of like that which the sun is working against me, but that's a pretty big gap to suck the air out again. So yeah, we're gonna start welding. And this is so easy to do. 
why pay six hundred dollars for a vented hood or whatever if it's carbon fiber i get it but like so good this fuck off Both pieces are in. That's just tagging up a little bit more. So we know for sure it's all, uh, never coming loose. Should be it that side. Yep. <laughs> Whoop. Magic switcheroo. Nice one. That are we in paint? I'm not a fan of, of this weird blue anyway. Ooh. Doing the final stitches. Then we can really grind it off and make it a nice clean edge. So they're all completely in. Shift this side off. Now just a little inside there. A little bit, but uh, almost ready for paint. Damn, that shit's nasty. So after that last bit of grinding, uh, stuck some paint on there so it's not rusting. Uh, this edge is pretty nice, so well as, uh, as well as that one. But then the inside is hard to get to, so I'm gonna do that like manually, sh sort of uh, shave it down. Um, but I will do that in my spare time, and I need to order some uh, wrap vinyl uh, before I can throw this thing on because I'm not gonna run this the way it is. I want to wrap it and then put it on the car. Uh, put some mesh in there. Maybe do a vent here or something. I don't know for sure yet, but maybe just a little bit more. And of course some hood latches here. So, and then uh, I'll pick this up. Thanks Thomas, so far.